North Carolina. Look, it's green and I can take showers longer than five minutes here. I might have to move. There seems to be water everywhere. Never thought I'd live long enough to be like, this state has water. I think I wanna live here. So, I can't like, I gotta pay attention. Oh look, there's some barns. I gotta pay attention. I'm gonna, I decided to go back to Seagrove to look at pottery. And the last time I was there, um, my buddy Brian Jones said, like, I have to go, I gotta go check out this dude, Mark Hewitt. But like, I couldn't get an appointment. Like this dude is like the guy in Seagrove for the fucking pottery. And, um, and I didn't know if I was going to go. So I left Durham this morning. I had a biscuit sandwich with fried chicken and cheddar cheese on it. That was spectacular. I don't give a fuck. I'm ready to die. Um, it's so green here. But I'm driving to Seagrove. So I call up. Mark Hewitt Pottery and I call the another number this car is a great car but it's fucked up there's something wrong with it and they're having a kiln opening today I don't know what that means but the, she said they only do it like twice a year like I picked the right day for the kiln opening at Mark Hewitt Pottery and that started at 10. So now it's it's 10.20 here and I'm a little panicked that I'm, I'm gonna miss something. Like there's some sort of regional rush on his pottery. Like I'm, I'm like, fuck, should I even bother going if the kiln has been opened for an hour? <laughs> I fucking hate my brain, man. I really fucking hate my brain. So that's where I'm going. It's not even in Seagrove. It's like outside of it. But like, that's what my brain does. It just pictures like, oh my God, is there going to be parking? <laughs> it's Mark Hewitt's having a kiln opening. Is there going to be like restrooms available? How long's the line going to be? See, that's what fucking big cities do to your brain. It's like, man, I'm probably going to have to wait to see a bowl. I'm going to have to wait an hour to see a bowl. You think it's OCD? I don't know if it's OCD. I call it uh, diminishing buffet syndrome. I got to get there first when all the food's out. Or else it's just like, I miss something. The show in Durham was great. How's the connection, all right? Pittsburgh, yeah, that's where I'm going. I gotta tighten up this fucking set though, yo. Saw my buddy Mac from Super Chunk, came out with his kid, Arthur. A lot of nice people there. Sorry, bicyclist. See, that's what it's doing. It's got that steering thing where it pulls me back into the lane and it won't let me turn it off. And I've tried to turn it off in many different ways. A lot of bicycles coming. Don't kill the people on the bikes. Don't kill the people on the bikes. You know that song? I doubt it because I just fucking wrote that bitch. So. Oh. Motorcycle. 
big ass bike. Is that a Harley guy? Of course it's gotta be, right? Weird. It's weird, like, what 